we are almost at the grocery store here in Windsor, where I live. And we're gonna work on letting you guys see what I used to eat coming up when I didn't have a good job and I didn't have any money. I'm basically gonna show you guys how to get big on a budget. All right, so bananas are always a must. They don't have to be organic. You can get regular bananas. Um, not the most expensive fruit, but I always kind of made room in my budget for a little bit of fruit. So when I first started out, I was bouncing and bouncers in this city make like minimum wage. Um, we used to take money at the door and shit, let people in, kind of make extra money that way. But um, no, there wasn't a lot of money to go around, but I just made sure, you know, I. It's not that hard, like it really isn't. Like potatoes, you know, you can get a five pound bag of potatoes for five bucks. So I made that shit go a long way. Like I ate a lot of potatoes. I ate a lot of oatmeal. I ate a lot of rice, like a bag of rice. You can get a big, big bag of rice for 10 bucks. So these are the kind of things you want to look at when you're trying to get big on a budget. You got to find what works for you. And these are the cheapest food. So we're going to grab a bag of potatoes. Five pound bag of potatoes, five bucks. So, same thing when you're buying chicken, okay? You're gonna buy the cheaper cuts or the cheaper brands. So like, this is the grocery store brand. You're looking at $15 a kilogram, which is 750, $7.50 a pound. Same thing with the chicken thighs, but if you get into the more expensive stuff, you know, now you're talking about the more prime cuts of chicken breast. This is $25 a kilogram or $12.50 a pound. So you want to keep, you want to look at like drumsticks, chicken thighs, ground chicken, ground turkey, um, maybe not the highest end cuts of chicken breast. That's where you're going to live if you're, if you're buying chicken. Okay, but more importantly, you're probably going to live more in the uh, beef area because ground beef is going to be really cheap in comparison to chicken. So if you come over here, if we get into like a value pack, which is probably what I would have bought back in the day. You're looking at $12 a kilogram or $6 a pound. So you're saving a couple bucks a pound. This is probably what I'm gonna go for most of the time. And, it, and it also, honestly, in the off season, it's probably what I eat most of anyway. It mixes well with rice, potato, pasta, whatever you're making. This is gonna be my go-to. So we'll get some ground beef. We'll get some chicken. Let's grab some chicken breast or some chicken thighs. Listen, when you're bodybuilding and you're worrying about money, you don't really have the luxury of being like, oh, I can't, I gotta eat the leanest cut of this or leanest cut of that. When you're trying to come up and you don't have a lot of money, you're like, okay, if I have to buy the ground beef and I have to strain it, then that's something I'll do. Oatmeal is always a must. And This is four bucks, okay? So this bag lasts you a week. If you're eating like a lot of oatmeal, you're eating a couple cups a day. This will last you like a week or more. So, you know, it's only $4. Carbs are the cheapest. If anybody tells you, you know, carbs are expensive, then they're buying the wrong carb. Okay, I never spent a ton of money on like really, really expensive spices and spice mixes and shit. I would grab a big container of salt and a big container of pepper. That shit would last me forever. It's a minor expense, but something you do gotta think about. Okay. Six bucks for this big ass thing, right? Okay, this is a little bit more expensive, but I have to make my food taste good somewhat, so. I grabbed the peppercorns with the grinder. It's like seven bucks for this, but this is gonna last you forever. Like this is, it's a lot of pepper. So I'm not worried about it. This is gonna have to buy once every fucking two months. Pasta is fucking cheap. Now, if you're gonna buy rice pasta, you're gonna spend a little more, but you don't wanna, you don't have to do that. If we go over here, like this is crazy. Look at this. 
four of these for five bucks. So in the off season when I'm growing, I'll easily smash one or two of these a day. Okay, so this is five bucks. Okay, and one fifth of the package is 63 grams of carbs. So you literally, most for most people, most guys, you know, 200 pound bodybuilder, 220 pound bodybuilder, for most guys, this is five meals. So you literally bought five meals for $1.25, okay? This is how you save money. Oh, we need some pasta sauce. This is gonna sound gross to you guys, but I didn't care back in the day, but I used to get this big jug of like Prego pasta sauce. And they used to have it at all the grocery stores. I don't see it here anymore. So I live down here somewhere. You know, these aren't as good, but you're at 2 dollars These are the types of pasta sauces I used to eat back in the day. These ragu over here, even better, 250. I lived in the 250 area somewhere, okay? So we have rice, we have all these different types of rice and they're 10 bucks. I mean, look at this, this is insane, right? You got like a, uh, it's a 17 pound bag of rice and it's 10 bucks. This will last you, fuck man, this could last you a month depending on how much pasta you're eating. You come in here and you get like, you know, chickens on sale, buy fucking 10 packs of chicken. Don't worry about it, fucking portion them off. What I used to do actually, to be honest with you, is I would go to a butcher and uh, I would get big bags of fucking ground beef and I would have them portion them into one pound bags and I would freeze the bag. Now, when I look at this, for some reason, I don't believe this is actually olive oil. It looks like fucking canola oil with a olive sticker on it. So I like people to fool me. If you're gonna fool me, you gotta do a better job. So to me, this looks more, so I'll spend a little bit more money. This one's $8.99, or even this one here is $9.99. It's organic, so it looks pretty authentic to me. This looks like a, you know, straight from Italy. So, <laughs> so you know, but again, like, okay, it's 10 bucks. It's a lot of money to spend on one item, but this item, you know, depending on how much fat is in your diet, this could last a month. So, you know, we're talking about buying weekly, but some of the items I have in here are gonna be monthly purchases. Like, you're not gonna buy this weekly. You're not gonna buy this salt weekly. Most of the weekly stuff that we're buying is the meat, the oatmeal, the bananas. You know, the rice even is gonna last more than a week too. I have to be honest with you guys. Nowadays, I can no longer eat like shitty tuna. I have to eat like a little bit like the nicer tuna. But the tuna here is a, there's a dollar forty nine on the bottom there. That's probably what I would have went for back in the day. I can't eat that anymore. I just I can't get it down. So now I'm in the the flaky white tuna. It's got to be albacore. So I'm probably here. So it's three fifty, which is not much cheaper than you can probably get a chicken breast for. So I'm not really saving myself money by buying tuna anymore. And I don't think you would be either unless you're down at the bottom. If you're gonna spend four bucks on this, you can probably get a chicken breast for four bucks. If you're not a good cook, or if you're cooking with less than the highest quality foods, condiments are a must. Like one of my meals back in the day, man, that shitty can of tuna with some baked potatoes and Italian dressing. I mashed all that shit together and that was a meal. And it's cheap as fuck, because the tuna was cheap, the potatoes were cheap, and then you get a bottle of Italian dressing for like five bucks. So condiments are an absolute must if you're gonna get your food down. So for tuna, you know, you're looking at mayo, this is five bucks, we go with this. Mustard is always a must. If you're gonna buy the French's, you're gonna pay a little more. This one's $1.99. I've never eaten the no-name ketchup. I'm a sucker for marketing. So I'm going with the no sugar added Heinz. It's three bucks. If you're gonna be eating a lot of chicken, you know, drumsticks, thighs, or cheaper cuts of chicken breast, uh, barbecue sauce is a must. You're gonna be dousing it. So this is $1.99. 
because we're not rich, we can't afford fresh organic vegetables unless we go to like a market. You know, if you go to like a farmer's market, you can probably get cheaper vegetables and stuff there. But if you're just gonna try and pick everything up here, frozen vegetables is probably your cheapest bet. So this is what I was using for vegetables back in the day. I don't know if this counts as vegetables. It probably doesn't. It's like really just like the sugariest, worst vegetables you can find. But um, I'm just being real, man. This is what I ate. I mix it with my rice, mix it with whatever, and help me get my food down. So. Egg whites are super, super popular right now. I mean, they've always been popular, but if you're gonna do egg whites, if you have to, if you, if you have a little bit of extra money, you're gonna be over here. This is like the grocery store brand. It's three bucks for a carton. So that's actually a pretty good buy. Like if, if you think about it, that's three bucks for 50 grams of protein. So you're looking at three bucks if you're eating, usually if you're a 200 to 250 pound guy, you're eating 50 grams of protein per meal. Three bucks for a meal is pretty good. So throw in some egg whites. And then you always gotta have eggs because eggs are probably like the best bodybuilding food ever. You know, these are $4.99. So the only thing we're missing now to complete my diet would be some peanut butter. So let's grab that. So we're still gonna look for the cheapest one. So what I used to do is just grab this one. This craft one is just peanuts. There's nothing else in it. So yeah, peanut butter is a must. It's a little bit more expensive because we're not buying the regular shitty brand. We're buying like the natural just peanuts. So you're gonna pay $6.99 for this, but it's still better than paying uh, $6.99 for this. You get a little bit more in this one. This is probably a better quality brand but I don't give a shit when I'm trying to save money. I want more, so this is more. Okay guys, so that's our bodybuilding on a budget. We got our eggs, our chicken thighs, the ground beef. We got all our stuff. We need rice, pasta, everything we need to get big. Now, we're gonna check, go to the checkout and see where we're at. But like I said, these aren't all weekly items. So I'm gonna try and ring up the weekly items first see what that comes to and then i'm going to add the other things in that we're going to that are going to last a lot longer like this jar of peanut butter or you know this bottle of olive oil that will last probably a month so let's see what our weekly food comes to we're going to try and stay under 100 bucks and then we'll add in our ancillary items that are probably going to make the total a little more but they're also going to last a lot longer than a week <laughs> See, so that's what I'm saying. So you can buy your weekly food for a hundred bucks. And that fat food will last me, you know, a little while, like three days, four days. Um, and then we're gonna get into some of this stuff which is gonna last longer, but we're gonna need anyway. So you can go ahead and add it. So the final total is 134.76. I should be I should be on the prices right. <laughs> 